Hello, hello and welcome back to Leaky Gaming and welcome back to another first look. We're gonna look at the map call, called Holmerka. I would say Holmerka, Holmerka, Holmerka. Uh, right, I'm gonna... Uh, this was made by Pixel Farm, North Modding Company and North Modding Company. It's 140 megabytes in size. This is version 2.0 that I'm reviewing now. It was released on 7th of February. That was just two weeks ago, 13 days ago. So, let's see what they wrote about the map. Welcome to Holmerka, uh, a forest and farming property set in Sounders, Sweden. A detailed and diverse forest, seven fields, total 13 hectares, areas for placeable buildings, season supported, custom textures for seasons, custom tree textures, over 30,000 trees to cut down. Wow! DOF graphics has been removed to improve FPS and distance blurriness. Change log, added farming, expanded the map, foliage, expanded the map, okay, foliage textures from Project uh, Michaelberg, farm buildings uh, from uh, 20 millimeter Normandy, new tree textures, new, uh, a few minor corrections. This was the change log to 2.0. Now, they straight away say this is a logging map and farming map, so uh, you can choose either or, or even both. But I would reckon that if you're a proper logger, you're gonna have a field day in this one, because this looks amazing. You straight away start with some nice equipment here, I can see, and um, yeah, let's Check the map first. Wow! <laughs> this looks a little bit on the big side. Right, 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 right. So, uh, what do we have here? We have uh, seven fields that are quite close to our to our forestry area or forestry farm or whatever this is. We have piggies, piggies, uh, sheep, cow, piggies. A lot of piggies, okay, so obviously they want us to do piggies. <laughs> we own one field. Uh, rest of them are not. I had... Uh, what was the name? Was it not something North... -esque? No, it, it was Canadian. I forgot it was the Canadian Outback or something. There was a farm where we, actu uh, we actually had to clear all the <laughs> fields because fields were there but they are full of trees. You can't actually plant anything. I don't know if this is the case here but uh, let, let's check the equipment first. Okay. So what do the guys want us to start with? Well, two small Valtras. They are quite cute. Um, a114 and N174. This is Sweden and having Finnish tractors is perfectly in place. Bison super because the farming wouldn't be extreme priority. I think this is perfectly suited. It should be. We'll check out the map. Uh, front attacher for our harvester. Subsoil. Uh, sorry, the, the cultivator. We have a cedar. This is a 3 meter one uh, with cultivator in front. That's okay. A useless windrower. We have a baler. We have a, a small log transport. I haven't done forestry in a while. Now I kind of miss it. I might even make an episode or two here. Uh, we have a front loader here. We have a. This is manure grab. Okay, uh, and uh, the, the bale spike, we have pig enclosure, pig enclosure, pig enclosure green silo. Okay, pig enclosures look like they are custom made and I kind of like it. A cow as well, this looks quite nice. It looks nice, it looks nice. I think I already saw it somewhere, but uh, it looks nice. Let's see how the pig area looks. Looks exactly how pig area should look. It's... Um, <laughs> Pigs don't spend a lot of time outside here, but it's forest also, you have to be <coughs> wary that um, there's uh, some wild animals that can hunt them, and uh, probably there are some pests and uh, ticks and uh, rats or something that they can get infected with. We have a silage pit here, I would reckon that we need to keep that under clamp all the time, because there would be hungry animals there that would be wanting to get some of that silage. Okay, why is this so weirdly placed? Okay, this is gonna be interesting to attach. Uh, this is one of our Valtras, okay, with a bell spike. Um, this logging area looks like a perfect military base for the operations. This is why I like it. It's, um, it's kind of organized in the middle of the forest and you can just get your chainsaw out and start cutting trees. Oh, these are different pig pens. Wow, and these ones have outside. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. 
Right, this gives me an, quite a few ideas. Oh, this is the cow. No, it's not cow. This is the... What is this? Sheep. Okay, this is the sheep area. Okay. Uh, sheeps are allowed to go outside. Okay, that's fine. What, what? What's you? Oh, this is a water tank. Yes. It looks like it's underground a bit. And, um, yeah, so this is a sheep pen. This is where we feed them. This is quite interesting. I kind of like it. <clears throat> we're gonna go around, we're gonna go for a drive. This is the pig pens, they are more or less the same. I would reckon that this one is the same as all. Oh, they are all connected to one uh, manure. Uh, but they have manure pit, but I think they have two separate slurry pits. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Okay, let's go for a ride. Uh, detach. And I'm using keyboard and mouse, I'm not using the steering wheel, so heads up for the sharp turns wow this forest is thick and nice and probably this is our house right i'm expecting to have a lamborghini here within a year okay this is one of the fields that we own actually the only field that we own i would i would say that it wouldn't be too hard let's check the field prices uh yes look at these guys so you have to buy separate parts of the forestry area and the fields are not that cheap but i would reckon a couple of loads of logs will definitely go <clears throat> long way in purchasing these fields so it looks like uh, you should follow the numbering order of the fields which to purchase because this looks like it's following the price and there's a field number six all the way there let's <clears throat> let's go and take a look at that field number six i really really wonder there's a lot of nice... Okay, this road goes next to these three fields, but I would like to go this way. Reminds me of why we can home uh, back in the... near my hometown. Uh, it definitely has a really, really thick forest, but it's not... <clears throat> uh, it's not uh, fir trees like this. It's uh, it's more oak trees than the than than the fir the fir trees. So it's a uh, it's a little bit different. But then on the other hand, uh, it's a forest. Okay, let's try to. I was trying. I was thinking of going through this forest, but it's quite quite thick. So let's try going this way. This is gonna be nice. Oh, <laughs> barely made it. Okay, uh, let's see here. Wow, there's a lot of forest. Thirty thousand trees. That's a lot of money. I think somebody. I, I think somebody should take a challenge and cut them all down. I wonder how that would look. <laughs> 30,000 trees. I'm now thinking about it. I'm seriously thinking about it. I see that um, not all of it is hilly. I see that some of the... F uh, um, there's there's flat grounds here and there. Wow, this looks challenging and nice. I really like the map. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't be making any uh, any fields on this steep ground here, but as soon as we get to a, a little bit straighter area, not really... What's here on the left? Okay, another sharp fall down. Okay, so I, I I'm not sure what I would do first. Would I collect money to buy something like Scorpion, or do we have... Probably there are nice modded ones like the like the Russian one, that would be a bit cheaper, I forgot the name, um, but they're quite nice uh, uh, mods for, for... Wow, this is really nice, there's a lake on the right hand side here, and there's a... F this is what I was talking about, this is an empty land this is what I wasn't talking about, I thought it was something that we can convert into field Technically, we could. Uh, those rocks will definitely be in the way. No, no, we could. We could. Or we can plant more trees here. So, if you want to do something like that. Okay. This looks like it's a lake area. And there's a big roundabout here. Or where we can... Oh. 
And how do you get to this? Wow, you have to go all the way around. I'm not going all the way around. Actually, I'm going all the way around. Okay, let's go all the way around. Uh, okay, there's a lot of space here for leaving the trees. That's good. Logs. And let's go all the way around to the field number six. I would reckon that most of this... Yeah, look at, look at the distant sh shaders. I think just because of the FPS drop, that would be... I have okay well my computer was okay three years ago <laughs> not sure how okay it is is it now but um i'm really processing i i have absolutely no problems with my pc running everything on highest i have i5 8th generation i know there's like 10th generation out now so this would be i5 intel processor first time in my life i ever had intel i5 uh high five i5 um uh, but i see that amd is catching back and uh, amd is way to go in the future but for now i'm uh, i have intel one and it's quite good and uh, i would like to try this for uh the d drawing distance would be uh, further like bigger so we would have more details what if we stop okay it's still it's still so-so. Uh, I would like it. I would like to try to test my processor graphics card. I have a 1080, 1080, not Ti. Uh, it's also three years old or so. Uh, two, two, three years old. Not sure if it's two. No, it's three years old. I, I forgot. I forgot. It's, it's not the youngest one. It's been a while. I haven't changed my processor and the computer in, in a while. So, um, yeah, let's say two, three years old. I'll, I'll check that. Uh, and here we go, field number six. This looks like it's a grass field. Wow, this the rendering distance, or it's it's quite short. But the field is amazing. And if we start, for example, if I ever bought this field, this is quite. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm thinking if that how much it cost? Four hundred thousand. Yeah, let's let's check. There's something here. Is this a stream or there's an empty plot of land here? I don't know what this is. Oh, it's power lines. Right. Um and this whole area, this is this is something that I would like. I'm thinking now, I'm thinking if I start let's plays on this map, you have some farming to do. Uh but I, I probably wouldn't go for a seasons. You have some farming to do, basic stuff, and then you have a lot of forestry thing. Probably what forestry would come... Uh, expanding the fields, yes, expanding the fields would be the thing I would uh, be looking for. Let's see how these power lines go. Let's follow those power lines. We have a tractor, we can go off-road. Oh, do we have any town or something? Oh, there's a town. Oh, uh, boy. Okay, how do we get there? Okay, it looks like we're gonna have a lot of cutting through the forest, and I'm gonna be tr checking the map quite often. And what is this? There's a lot of stuff here. The map is absolutely, totally huge. Let's check the power lines. Yeah, this is the one of the things that uh, cooperation between power companies or whoever owns the power lines, usually government, and whoever owns the forest company, usually government, they have to do this. They have to chop, chop down the trees underneath the power lines because as they grow, they can touch the power lines and cause havoc on themselves and on the power grid. So, wow. There's a lot of detail here. This is exactly how I remember it when I went uh, uh, walking through the forest and we, w where I come from. Also, there's like these power lines going through the forest and it's like thick foliage in there. And as soon as you get into the forest, uh, you have... Whoa, ho, ho, this is uh, quite steep. Okay... It doesn't allow us to go more than 40 kilometers per hour. But let's go. Let's go and check the 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 the. the badia, badia, badia. That's all, folks. Let's check the other side of the map. Oh yeah, and these roads. What are those? This doesn't look like an asphalt road. It looks like it's an off-road, but it's thicker on the map. It looks like it's taking a little bit more space. I can't wait to start going off-road here and just continue. Hopefully, we're going to touch this one, go through the big big, big green yonder. And... Uh, whoa, okay. 
So you're gonna play like this. Oh, <laughs> this is <laughs> terrain is awesome. I think this would be perfect for some Russian machinery. Those uh, caterpillar um, scorpion kings and stuff like that. That would be <laughs> awesome on this terrain. That definitely would fit perfectly. Um, so let's see what this road is that ends in the middle of nowhere. So this is normal forest road. Wow, it's beautiful here. I love forests. Forests are awesome. Okay. Okay, uh, challenging. And challenge accepted. Okay, don't lose it. What would I do here? I'm not sure about sheep and cows. Pigs would probably be the main uh, culprit here. We have a lot of space for pigs also. I wouldn't overextend on that. And here we go. What is this? Do I see a river there? Or at least there's a dry riverbed or, well, not so dry. There's some water there. This is big empty space. Now, would one claim this as a field? What would this cost if we bought this? Now, I'm thinking, uh, this shouldn't cost that much, and it does. Of course it does. And what about this? What's with these? What's... okay. What's the Dota thing now? I have to go and see. Let's go towards town, check out the town and the, on the way back. Depends. We're gonna get lost in this forest anyway, so... Um, I I really don't think the, the old grandpa would want us to do this with his tractor. Because if we hit anything, we barely got out of it. Oh, wow. Look at how thick this is. The only sad thing about doing forestry when I do forestry would be when you start clearing the forest and you see the emptiness where the once forest was. That's a little bit uh, on the sad side. But then you check your bank balance and all the trees you're sold. Then you're happier again. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, horrible. Okay, so we can buy this area. There looks like it's a road there. I reckon they want us to do this. Okay, let's check this out. So there's a path here. I knew it. I knew it. So there's a path here. It's all grown in. It's full of trees, but it's actually a road. So you would buy this road and then clear it, all these trees on the side. And there's probably trees in the middle of the road as well. Yeah, look like here. And you would clear that and you would have easy access from your farm through here all the way to town. Because currently the best road, you have asphalt one going all the way here, if we can call this town. It's timber and mill and spinnery. Let's see here. Yes, we only have those two. And they actually buy everything from us except the cotton but sweden unfortunately oh wool interesting so you have a shipyard but you can't sell wool that's quite interesting no biogas no silage no nothing only you can sell wood chips and timber i would say and uh, we're gonna check that uh, i tapped back into this vehicle and uh Oh, let's check the end of the map. Uh, in these kind of maps, the end of the map is not the worst thing. Uh, I'm not sure how they're gonna make this, how they made this. And how far I can actually go here. Jump! I didn't hit the wall. Okay, not ideal. Uh, definitely not ideal, but uh, there's so much forest here that uh, you have to really come close and check this one out. And look at this, there's a field here. Probably you can buy some money crops here and plant them. This looks like it's a grass field, but uh, let's check if we can purchase that. Okay, it's a, it's a... Looks like it's both of these fields, left and right, come under the same... Same tag, yeah, but uh, I wouldn't go with uh, with these fields uh, as a priority because we wouldn't be doing... Um, 
a lot of <coughs> a lot of uh, silaging anyway hay as well I'm probably if I ever play this map it's gonna be um, it's gonna be piggies which most of the crops they're gonna eat and then just exporting the animals but still it would be quite challenging I don't remember what's the name of that map that was also a good one uh, but the, the I gave up on that map just because of one thing it took so darn long to clear all the trees. Kerbo, Kerbo was the YouTuber who covered that map quite intensively. Uh, I watched his videos, he put a lot of effort into that map and the videos are really nice. Uh, search for Kerbo guys if you want to see that Canadian map, it was amazing. Right, okay, that's about it. I'm gonna leave it here, that new road, there's quite few missions you can do here. I wonder what this is, but unfortunately we are a bit far away from there. Uh, well, I can try this and then jump over the fence and see how far we can go to check this empty space here. Um, yeah, so uh, there's a lot of challenges on this map uh, which are not related to classical farming or even forestry, like clearing those roads so you have easier access to town. That would be quite, quite amazing. Put some... Uh, Russian, um, that big Russian uh, Kirovitz tractor and the trailer and pulling the animals through that uh, area would be, uh, through that forest uh, off-road area would be quite nice. And also these kind of stuff, uh, these kind of areas, if you buy these and get rid of the stumps, I think this would be, wow, look at the view here, I don't regret coming here at all. And putting a field here. I know it would be challenging and uh, maybe with a little bit of editing of the field would be just slightly just as uh, just moving all the, the bumps on the road. We probably would do that with the cultivating and there, there's means of doing that. But look at this guys. Now this is why I would like us to have the, the more distance rendering so we can have proper view of the forest. This looks absolutely amazing. Anyway, I have to say, this is the <laughs> quite nice surprise of a map. Um, now check it out guys, uh, if you like that and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, um, let me know what you think, uh, let me know what you think about the episode uh, first look, uh, would you like me to continue doing that or should I just quit it? <laughs> um, yeah, let me know what you think, like, subscribe, notification bell, leave a comment in the comment section, I'm gonna see you in the next one, bye bye.